Platanus times a serifolia, the London plane, London plane tree, or hybrid plane, is a tree in the genus Platanus. It is often known by the synonym Platanus times Hispanica. It is usually thought to be a hybrid of Platanus orientalis oriental plane and Platanus occidentalis American sycamore. Some authorities think that it may be a cultivar of P. orientalis. Topic. Description The London plane is a large deciduous tree growing 20 to 30 meters, 66 to 98 feet, exceptionally over 40 meters, 131 feet tall, with a trunk up to 3 meters, 10 feet or more in circumference. The bark is usually pale gray-green, smooth and exfoliating, or buff brown and not exfoliating. The leaves are thick and stiff textured, broad, palmately lobed, superficially maple-like, the leaf blade 10 to 20 cm 4 to 8 in long and 12 to 25 cm 5 to 10 in broad, with a petiole 3 to 10 cm 1 to 4 in long. The young leaves in spring are coated with minute, fine, stiff hairs at first, but these wear off and by late summer the leaves are hairless or nearly so. The flowers are born in one to three, most often two, dense spherical inflorescences on a pendulous stem, with male and female flowers on separate stems. The fruit matures in about six months, to two to three centimeters diameter, and comprises a dense spherical cluster of achenes with numerous stiff hairs which aid wind dispersal. The cluster breaks up slowly over the winter to release the numerous two to three millimeters seeds. The London plain is one of the most efficient trees in removing small particulate pollutants in urban areas. It shares many visual similarities with Platanus occidentalis, American sycamore, from which it is derived. However, the two species are relatively easy to distinguish, considering the London plain is almost exclusively planted in urban habitats, while P. occidentalis is most commonly found growing in lowlands and alluvial soils along streams. Topic. Origin The species was formed by hybridization in the 17th century after P. orientalis and P. occidentalis had been planted in proximity to one another. It is often said that the hybridization took place in Spain, but it could also have happened in Vauxhall Gardens in London where John Tradescant the Younger discovered the tree in the mid-17th century. The leaf and flower characteristics are intermediate between the two parent species, the leaf being more deeply lobed than P. occidentalis but less so than P. orientalis, and the seed balls typically two per stem, one in P. occidentalis, three to six in P. orientalis. The hybrid is fertile, and seedlings are occasionally found near mature trees. Controlled reciprocal pollinations between P. occidentalis and P. orientalis resulted in good yields of germinable seed and true hybrid seedlings. Crosses of both species, as females, with P. racemosa and P. righti produced extremely low yields of germinable seed, but true hybrids were obtained from all interspecific combinations. Apomixis, asexual reproduction from non-fertilized seeds, appeared common in P. orientalis. In 1968 and 1970, Frank S. Santamore Jr. recreated the P. orientalis by P. occidentalis cross using a P. orientalis of Turkish origin with American sycamores P. occidentalis. The offspring were evaluated following several years of exposure to anthracnose infection. Two selections, Columbia and Liberty, were released in August, 1984. Topic. Taxonomy Platanus times acerifolia was first formally described in the botanical literature by the Scottish botanist William Aitone in his 1789 work Hortus Kewensis as a variety of P. orientalis. Aitone described this variety with a two-word Latin diagnosis. 
Foley's transversus, and called it the Spanish plane tree. In 1805, Carl Ludwig Wildnau chose to elevate Aetone's variety to species rank, publishing the new species Piacerifolia in the fourth edition of Species Plantarum. The species name was then modified to include the multiplication symbol to indicate its suspected hybrid parentage. The other name commonly used for this taxon, Platanus times Hispanica AUCT. Non mil, ex munch, is a nomen dubium based on an uncertain description. Topic. Cultivation The London plane is one of 50 Great British trees the Tree Council selected in 2002 in honour of Queen Elizabeth II's Golden Jubilee. The list specifically mentions Britain's first London plane being in the city of Ely, Cambridgeshire. The London plane is very tolerant of atmospheric pollution and root compaction, and for this reason it is a popular urban roadside tree. It was planted extensively in Victorian times to weather the pollution of London. It is now extensively cultivated in most temperate latitudes as an ornamental and parkland tree, and as a commonly planted tree in cities throughout the temperate regions of the world, in London and many other cities. It has a greater degree of winter cold tolerance than P. orientalis, and is less susceptible to anthracnose disease than P. occidentalis. Under the synonym Platanus times Hispanica, the tree has gained the Royal Horticultural Society of Great Britain's Award of Garden Merit. The tree is fairly wind resistant. However, it has a number of problems in urban use, most notably the short, stiff hairs shed by the young leaves and the dispersing seeds. These are an irritant if breathed in, and can exacerbate breathing difficulties for people with asthma. The large leaves can create a disposal problem in cities, as they are tough and sometimes can take more than one year to break down if they remain whole. London planes are often pruned by a technique called pollarding. A pollarded tree has a drastically different appearance than an unpruned tree, being much shorter with stunted, club-like branches. Although pollarding requires frequent maintenance the trees must usually be repruned every year, it creates a distinctive shape that is often sought after in plazas, main streets, and other urban areas. In New York City According to the New York City Department of Parks and Recreation the symbol of that organization is a cross between the leaf of the London Plain and a maple leaf. It is prominently featured on signs and buildings in public parks across the city. The tree is on the NYC Parks Department's list of restricted use species for street tree planting because it constitutes more than 10% of all street trees. Topic. In Australia In Australia, the London Plain is used extensively as a street tree in major cities, particularly Sydney, Melbourne and Adelaide. The tree is commonly used because of its resilience to warm weather, its benefits as a shade tree, resistance to breakage and tolerance of urban pollution. Topic. Timber When quarter sawn the timber has a distinctive and highly decorative appearance of dark reddish-brown flecks against a lighter background and is known as lacewood. Topic. Cultivars Augustine Henry this is a tall growing cultivar, with very large, pale green leaves. It produces a strong leader and a cylindrical trunk. Bloodgood, this is one of the first cultivars to be selected for anthracnose resistance. It is a rounded tree with deep green leaves that turn a poor yellow in fall. The plant tolerates poor cultural conditions, including heat, drought and poor soil. Recent observations indicate susceptibility to ozone. Columbia. 
resists mildew and anthracnose. This tree has deeply lobed, dark green leaves. Liberty, a U.S. National Arboretum introduction. This pyramidal tree grows vigorously. It shows good tolerance for mildew, anthracnose, heat, and drought. Metsum, Metro Shade, a new introduction that grows strongly with a pyramidal habit. This cultivar is also said to be disease resistant with lustrous green foliage that emerges with a reddish cast. Merkovic has a dwarf, shrubby habit and unusual variegated lobed leaves with pink, cream, and bronze regions. Pyramidalis a cultivar or cultivar group common in London, with rich glossy green leaves, and a characteristic tendency to produce straight branches, compared to sinuous ones in other forms. Sutnary. Leaves are variegated creamy white. Yarwood. Very resistant to powdery mildew and highly susceptible to anthracnose. Poor structure. Being abandoned in California. <laughs>